question is from uh, Assembly Member Barry, which is about total cost of Silvertown Road Tunnel to Londoners. Thank you, Chair. Investment in the Silvertown Tunnel will bring widespread benefits to London, none of which would be realised if the contract was cancelled. Suggestions that the money being spent on this scheme could be invested elsewhere are misleading and inaccurate. The scheme is funded by private finance, which simply cannot be reallocated. By finally addressing the long-standing issues of the Blackwall Tunnel, it will hugely reduce, if not effectively, eliminate congestion in the area, improve air quality overall, and support economic growth in East London by transforming access to cross-river public transport. The health and economic costs to Londoners of congestion at the worn-out Blackwall Tunnel are huge. The tunnel has to be closed around 700 times a year, and if it closes for even six minutes, the queue quickly extends to three miles. Around one million hours are wasted each year as a result, costing around £10 million in lost time for people and businesses. These roads also suffer from some of the worst air quality in London, and this is exacerbated by the congestion and regular queuing. Doing nothing is not an option. TFL awarded a design, build, finance, maintain contract to the Riverlinks Consortium at the end of 2019. Riverlinks Limited have secured a £1.2 billion on, in finance to cover design, construction, risk and other expenditure for the project. Only once the tunnel has been built and is open will TfL begin to make repayments to Riverlinks. This means that TfL is not liable for additional payments or delays in the same way as more traditional construction contracts. Riverlinks will be responsible for the maintenance and renewal of the systems and equipment over 25 years. TfL anticipates that revenue received from user charging at the Blackwall and Silvertown tunnels will more than cover annual payments to Riverlinks, which are contingent on performance. Any surplus will be reinvested in the transport network. Even as traffic has decreased dramatically on some roads in London during the COVID-19 pandemic, congestion has continued at the Blackwall tunnel. In fact, the tunnel has had to be closed over 420 times since the pandemic began. This, this demonstrates the importance of a reliable and resilient crossing in that part of London. This vital river crossing will reduce congestion, transform cross-river public transport connections and improve some of the worst air quality anywhere in London. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, and yeah, just before I start, I wanted to say from the Green Group, um, thank you for answering, for the most part, our questions really constructively. This term, we've had some good discussions and influence and when I think about the previous mayor's attitude to scrutiny, including especially from some of the women members, I just wanted to highlight that I appreciate the difference. Um, today might not be our most agreeable session, however, because of the topic. Now, I really wanted to just to focus on costs here. And I've been looking over the audit report from Ernst & Young. And there are three things that I want to put to you that do still worry me about the costs that we might pay out for Silvertown um, in the end. Firstly, on tolls, the report says there's a deficit in the toll income right up until 2040. That's around £100 million of deficit to cover until then. Secondly, changes to the contract. TfL has already listed two contract variations in its transparency data, both paid to Riverlinks, totalling around £10 million. These seem to be in addition to the main contract. And third, construction risk. I'm not convinced this is covered. Are Londoners liable if this tunnelling goes wrong? It's a very high-risk project, as far as I can tell. It's a wide tunnel to take HGVs to a brass, much more serious than, say, a tube tunnel. It could easily hit problems. So, if we're liable for construction risk, variations to the contract, and this tolling deficit that's in the report, what are you telling future mayors that the total bill for Silvertown is going to be? You raised a number of points, even you conceding your, in your question, so if you give me a chance to respond to them. Firstly, we're quite clear. Uh, that the benefits of using this model of uh, design, build, finance, maintain uh, are far better uh, than any alternatives. You'll appreciate that at the normal uh, way construction is done in transport is often by uh, uh, TFL having to borrow and then build. Yeah, I'm aware that DFP stopped using PFI a while ago. I mean, I'm, I'm still trying to answer the first deal questions. Uh, but, but the advantage of this type of contract is there's an, there's an incentive by the, the, the person constructing the company constructing it in the, in the issue of maintenance because they'll be in charge of maintenance for the next 25 years. 
So normally in a build and construct contract, uh, there is only the contraction incentive to make sure it's, it's a good product. Because they're in charge of the maintenance for 25 years, there's an incentive to make sure the construction is done well. But also you appreciate the three, the three gaps that I identified. But also you appreciate the contract involves design, build, finance and maintain. So the, the company, the consortium, are responsible for uh, those things. Clearly, if there was a difference of opinion, then that would be resolved either amicably or if need be through any contractual issues through the courts. I'm quite clear that the, uh, the, the, by the, the consortium being liable for the build and construction that takes the pressure off TfL, clearly will be keen to make sure the construction is done well. But there is a self-interest in the consortium doing it well because they'll be maintaining it for the next 25 years. You haven't, I'm afraid, answered any of those three points about the tolling deficit, the potential construction risk. I noticed that TfL um, already got um, a capital cost of around about £200 million in there. I mean, we, we don't know. You won't release the cancellation cost. But looking at what I've said there, if, for example, it was to run a third over budget like, like Crossrail, you'd be looking at £700 million in extra cost there. There's, there's £100 million in tolling deficit. Seems to me like even now, it might be cheaper for you and for future mayors if you were to cancel it now. Now, I'm running, I've actually run out of time there. Well, but, you I assert, but you've asserted things that are untrue. I mean, you can't assert things that are untrue, give a clip of social media and not give a chance to respond. I mean, a number of your assertions are simply not true. You, there isn't 200 you know, million. Chair, chair in your hands. I mean, if, if members want to use their time in asserting things that are untrue, then say I've run out of time. I'm not sure how this is a a meaningful mass question time, but hey-ho. Okay, I will send you the three um, pieces of information that I have. That I'm sure you in a press release, yeah. And you, can, uh, you can answer them. Um, I am out of time, though. Thank you very much. Sorry. Uh, Point of order, Chair. The Green Group isn't out of time, I don't think, according to my, my thing, so the Mayor can answer the question. The, the Member has put a legitimate questions of concern, and the Mayor should be able to respond. The Green Group is not out of time. Uh, that's true. Can the Mayor answer in one word whether or not there's a tolling deficit? <laughs> Chair, the idea that I'll be dictated uh, how many words I can use to answer a question is ridiculous. The point is the Member has had a long opportunity to make assertions that are simply untrue. Uh, and the best, the best one word I can say is untrue. Okay, well, if you can't answer, if you can't answer me succinctly in more detail than that, I, I, you know, you sign this contract, I don't you know... You, you, your, your question is longer than the time you give me to answer. You can't talk about it. Well, look, uh, certainly Mayor is prepared to give uh, details, but uh, uh, as you're saying, uh, because of the, 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 the time uh, taken for, for uh, all of that, uh, uh, I, I think uh, we, we, we move on now to the next question.